Unreal, abortion fanatic thinks he beat pro-lifers, this comeback is perfect. Pro-abortion science fiction writer Patrick S. Tomlinson thought he completely decimated pro-lifers for good when he published a Twitter rant posing the following argument. The condensed version of the thought experiment is this, when faced with a choice of saving the life of a five-year-old child, or a thousand viable embryos, everyone's natural instinct is to save the living child, that clearly indicates that the existence of the child is morally more important, and that even a million embryos do not count as much as already born human life. Except he's wrong, and Ben Shapiro on the Daily Wire wrote a complete rebuttal of this often used thought experiment. We've condensed the amazing comeback here. Our moral instincts don't determine what the ultimate truth about a matter is, nor are instincts always correct. Just because someone would choose the child rather than the embryo, the in the moment choice doesn't say anything useful or definitive about the actual moral value of either. It's much like the train thought experiment, where one has the choice of either allowing a train to run over five people or pushing one fat person on the tracks to save the rest. Most people wouldn't do it, but that doesn't mean the five people on the tracks are any less human. This thought experiment doesn't actually show us the value of embryonic life. For example, you can save a box of embryos, or the life of a man who will die of cancer tomorrow. A reasonable person would save the embryos, but that doesn't mean the sick man who's dying anyways isn't human. Most pro-life people admit that already birthed life is supreme over pre-born life, but that doesn't make an embryo valueless. Plenty of us in the pro-alfie camp, if forced with the choice between the mother's life and the infant's life, will save the mother first. That still doesn't expose any hypocrisy or demonstrate that embryonic life has no value. This is just a stupid, hypothetical mind game. In 99.9999% of cases, this never happens to anyone. When it comes to abortion, everyone is faced with the single choice of whether to kill a fetus or let it live. The answer to a question based on a ridiculous coincidence does not justify an industry that profits from murdering more than one billion babies in the last century. Tomlinson is a fiction writer, he could at least be more creative, rather than reciting an age-old argument against the pro-life position. He hasn't won any arguments. All he's done is written another lie that will never happen in reality, since that is all he does for a living, for a living.